Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at the Pure Electric 500 watt. Um, this is the box for it. And uh, this is the actual scooter. It also came with an instruction manual. Um, kind of like a user, user book more than an instruction manual. Kind of like what you'd get with your car. Um, that's for my uh, safety gear, which I'll get onto as well. Come with some stickers which I've already used. Comes with a quick start guide as well. Just quick shows you how to quickly get into using the scooter if you're new to it. Um, this is what this is really designed for as a starting scooter. Um, the 500 watt is what I'd recommend for anyone over the age of 18. Uh, anything below 500 watt is not really worth using because you can't really get uphill if you're, if you're an adult. So uh, this is just some of the stuff. I mean, you can kind of see what's in it here. Uh, it's not a bad little book, especially if people are new to it. This is my safety gear. It's a it's K2 Prime Collection. Just a standard pads, and it came with wrist guards, knee pads, no, elbow pads, and then knee pads. And they're just a bit scuffed just from uh, kneeling down, to be honest. I haven't actually. Luckily, I haven't fallen off yet. I pray to God I haven't, I won't fall in the future as well. Um, these are the fingerless gloves I use underneath the wrist guards as well to have extra protection. And then this is my helmet. These are rated for 20 mile an hour, I've heard. And there's some of the stickers. Also got one on the inside. Or you can have one that's fell out. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad for a scooter like this um, because uh, they have a speed rating so you know this would be perfectly fine for that it doesn't have any face protection um, it just protects the top and the back and a little bit of the sides of your head I definitely would recommend something a bit more than that um, especially for what I use now I don't actually use this scooter anymore this, this will be sold soon I've had this for a little while um, these are some of the lights I use. I've bought blue and red. Blue for the front, red for the back. Um, and I'll show you why I bought red for the back as well. These are 25 quid. They come with extra straps and a charger. Really, uh, really useful. They're just USB chargeable and they're really like waterproof and durable. Really worth the money. Um, so the scooter is here. It doesn't weigh very much either, considering. Um, you know, has all this power to it, as you can see I'm lifting it, lifting it in one hand, which is quite good. It has a kickstand, so you can just stand it up, so I'll bring, bring it out here. So, um, the reason why I've got a light is because there's one rear light here that's so low down that you don't see it very well, so I've bought, I've bought a set, come with two, so I have one here, and then one here, and I've, I've actually put them higher up, usually, have them about here, and they come out sideways. So you can see, 500 watt uh, Pro, can't see it on there anymore. Feel the power, that actually didn't fall off, I put it here instead, I forgot. This is the real rear mount hook as well, the hook the handlebars on. Uh, this is usually bare. Looks very uh, basic, so if you put uh, an expensive bag on there with a strap, um, it just looks a lot better. It's a bit more filled out, and also it's, this is very narrow for a scooter. I've got size 13 feet, you can see. It's very, very narrow, um, very light, and it's very easy to get through um, crowded areas with it. It's got very narrow handle handlebars as well. Um, so yeah, um, so this is the main area. You have a charging port here. This computer, this uh, is all waterproof. This the scooter. Just a USB slot, so you can use that for whatever. It'll supply power to it, so you could use it for something else that actually needs power too, not just for charging. There's your throttle. This is actually rated as one of the best throttles. Um, there is a little bit of wobble that comes after a while, as you can see. It doesn't really wobble up here, but when you bring it down, it does. And when you're going uphill, that's really annoying, especially when you're going over bumps. Um, I found the best way to accelerate is to hold it down and bring this finger over and 
just hold on to it. You can actually hold it onto it without having to use your thumb. And you can you can do it like this if you want. You can use it as like a an actual rev. Um, instead of just doing your thumb, you can actually use your entire hand. People don't really realise that, but you can just all you do is you cut your thumb over it like that. And you can see just finger and thumb you can do it, but holding on to the whole bar you can still do it. Very nice, comfy sponge handlebars. These are really nice. I do not recommend cutting these off like everyone says to do, because they are just like, they're really soft and spongy, and they they this is what helps you when the over with the bumps because there's no suspension in this, um, no, none at all on the front or back. Uh, so it relies purely on these for comfort, and trust me, these do help. Uh, I've heard stories of people cutting these off, putting rubber ones on, and they're just not as comfy as these. These are like memory foam. This is a sticker as well. Uh, it looks a lot cooler. As you can see, this is usually bare. Um, you have a QR code here, which uh, is your personalised one, I think. This is the hook. This isn't the accessory hook. This is to hook your handlebars onto the rear. Um, but then you can see it's got a bit bent over time, and it actually came out when I had to push it back in. So. Uh, it's not the best and I haven't actually abused this either. It's just come off over time Really cool design on the side. This is pure very similar to bird. I don't know which one came first Very nice display on here. It reminds me of a little watch A little digital watch where you can get us to focus better. This is like reflective silver There you go, and then this has got like a beveled piece that sort of looks a lot more like a, like a reflective like a watch um, yeah, so you hold it down, turn it on. You see, we have it in the. This is the first speed mode. This is like um, commute mode. Um, it's very, very slow, and also it, it kind of doesn't really move at all. It's not really any good. Um, they really need to improve this mode if in the future, make it a bit more powerful. Um, the flashing feature is quite fe is quite good though for the daytime because uh, it's night time you can really see it but uh, in the daytime it's perfect for that double click it twice and you change to the next speed mode which is just blue it's got kind of a blue look to it it looks kind of white on mine it's in kilometers an hour as well um, I've heard of people modifying it to, to go to miles per hour you can actually get it to say it but it bricks the scooter so don't don't do it um, this is your battery display, one, two, three, four, five, it's an odd number, but on the third one, it's halfway, so you, you, you will see that the it will last a while before it gets to the third one, because these two are like the main ones, really it should have six, these count for two, so you just kind of half them. Um, as I said, kilometers an hour, you'll get to, it's limited to 25 kilometers an hour, but I've got to 28 on downhill. Uh, there is a little technique as, as you get onto the downhill slope. You give it full whack, and you'll literally you'll fly up, fly down the slope, and it will like not calibrate its speed correctly and let you go further. Um, this gets scratched very easily. That isn't a scratch. I don't know what that cam what the camera is picking up because I can't see that in person. Um, but yeah, there is a couple of scratches on here. Um, you can kind of see it. Uh, then there's the third speed mode, which is a lot better. I just use it in that one mainly just because it, all you have to do is just use less of it. Um, there isn't much of a dead spot. This is kind of is where it starts to go. So this is kind of the first speed setting and then the second speed setting is like here. So first speed setting and then first speed setting and the second one kind of deal. You kind of realize it when you play around with it. And just turn the lights on and off, you just press it and it turns them on and off. The only annoying thing is you can't individually turn the lights off. Like if you just want to turn the front one off and have the rear one on, which is for safety reasons you'd want on, you can't do. You see, I've turned it off now. I'll show you on, off. And you can see it's off too, which is why I bought the red lights for it. The blue lights usually would go here on the front, one here, which you can see there's a strap there, and then one on the front here. So you kind of get a bit of blue light here, blue light down there on the floor. It looks really cool. Uh, comes with a bell, not too bad. Not a lot of scooters come with one. Um, one I got recently doesn't. 
I've got one brake that's a front front brake. Um, I've tightened this to be very tight. As you can see, it doesn't need to be moved very much before it bottoms out. So you only need to really touch this brake. Um, but uh, even though it's only a front brake, it has a mechanic uh, like a mechanism built into the back brake and the back foot, the back wheel. I mean, not the back foot. The back wheel, which actually kicks in and allows you to brake with the back wheel as well as the front wheel, so it will always stop you from tipping front ways. Um, so you, you just have to press the front brake very lightly and it'll slow down. If you obviously ram it, you'll obviously fly forward. Steering's not too bad, but if this scooter's better for leaning on, leaning with for turning. Um, the folding mechanism, you just untwizzle this and then fold it down. Uh, this uses the hold head spacer so you can't actually tighten it up. This has gained some wobble over time. This is literally just the handlebars wobbling. If I hold the scooter still, you can see this wobbles back and forward, um, which is a safety issue, which I have contacted them over, and they want me to travel to their store to do it. Um, the only issue is they don't have very many, so if you don't live close, it's very hard to do that. Um, so yeah, This scooter is very good. It has a safety built in, so you have to actually kick start it first um, actually push it forward like a normal scooter um, however I don't actually like that feature I've found a couple of times even when I've kick started it it hasn't engaged and I've had to like do it again <coughs> and then my new scooter has uh, a, a computer built into it and <coughs> you can turn that on or off or I've turned it off so you can just start my new scooter by doing that and it will go forward on its own much better in that way but this is for the everyday user and I found uh, for being my first scooter, this was like perfect for me when I first started using it. I didn't I didn't need anything else for the first month. It was really good. I found after a while that going uphill it really took some effort. I had to put uh, give it an extra push sometimes, and um, you get about five hours of use of this full use for the first time. It will drop down to about four. Um, that's heavy use. Uh, but you'll get home in time with four hours of heavy use, which is good. So it's not too bad. Um, the battery takes about five hours to charge, maybe a bit less. It takes about six or seven hours apparently for the first time, just to because it's a fresh battery. Um, but yeah, the kickstand is very strong as well. It's it's got a very strong spring in it compared to some of the other scooters I've seen. Um, and it has a very easy manoeuvrability, like you can lift the scooter up with your back foot and move it quite easily out of the way. It's quite good. And the headlight is quite bright. It's not very wide, but um, it's, it does the job for seeing the road, which you obviously you want to avoid potholes with this. This scooter doesn't, doesn't have off-road tyres, um, but it's got puncture repair fluid in. I haven't had a puncture yet with this. Uh, it's been really good with that. Uh, I've had this for like three months and I've used it really extensively almost every day. And uh, I've gone over gravel, all sorts of terrain, or I've even done a bit of off roading with it, even with the wobbly handlebars. And it's really good, even off roading. It's only rear wheel dri drive, but it does the job. It really does the job for a basic scooter. Um, like I said, it doesn't have off road tyres. But I was doing off-roading with it, and it wasn't that bad. I didn't have any slips or anything with it. it they really, really did well. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's a good for a basic scooter. Uh, it can drive on grass as well. Uh, it definitely is it's great for just a normal commute scooter if you just want to get to A and B, and you don't want anything super fancy, and you're just happy with a normal scooter then I'd say a 500 watt is where you should start if you're over the age of 18 but um, yeah you can get these in 300 watt as well I think 350 watt and you can also get them in like 200 watt like a kiddie version of it um, but I wouldn't recommend them because you're paying this like almost the same price for a lower quality scooter anyway um, yeah it uses magnetic um, very intelligent wheels and the motors built into the wheel uh, is almost like futuristic. Um, I definitely felt like Martin McFly riding this rather than the other really hover scooter. What I'm saying though, this is my other scooter now. Yes, it's not focusing. I don't want you to see what the name of it is, but it's a, it's a very good one and I'll be reviewing that one soon. This one is up for sale. If you're interested in buying it, please DM me or comment on the video. Um, 
Merge two Kodokos. Oh no, yeah, the, uh, the, the price starts at 4 90 Because uh, this, is a, <laughs> this is over a 500 quid scooter. Um, people get this one mistaken for the lower wattage version because it looks like the lower powered versions, but they are cheaper and that those costs a bit less than that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're interested in it, let me know. But, yeah, this is a very good scooter for a starting scooter, and I'm very happy with it. I always treasure this scooter um, in my heart, do you know what I mean? It was a first scooter. It really done me well. And it still looks new as well. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.